let's take a look at one of the most toxic enemies to lovers relationships that I have seen on TV. And it's all because you guys voted for it. This video just won on your votes. So if you want to vote for the next video, click that join button and become a member of the channel. But let's get into Joe and Porsche's relationship. I would have done anything to know that you cared. All right. So we're talking about bad behavior. It is a TV series that dropped on Stan, which is an Australian streaming network. Now the series only has like four episodes. They're about an hour long each. And I'll tell you what, it took me forever to get through those four episodes because this show just gave me so much anxiety and I felt so uncomfortable watching it. I could not binge it. You know something, Joe? Sometimes. I really fucking hate you. So the main storyline follows Joe or Joanna. The storyline sort of jumps back and forth from past to present. The past, she's obviously in high school and she gets a scholarship to join this school that's like a boarding school out in the bush that has a very unusual curriculum. Cur curriculum. What did you say? I can't say that word, my, my God. So it's very focused on discipline and they have a lot of running and hiking and camping activities that they need to do and yeah it's just it's a very tough school it was bloody hard which was the point to build resilience and a lot of the times they're left unsupervised so when joe comes to this school she is confronted by a lot of girls obviously it's an all-girl school and there is a group of girls led by portia that's sort of like this big main bully group of the um the class that she's in they're sort of like divided up into like almost squads she's like on the red team anyway so portia focuses starts to focus her energy a lot on joe and it's just it is so toxic because Portia is essentially Joe's bully. We have standards at this school, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and and Joe is at this school for a whole year. It's like a, a year program. And Portia makes her life there a living hell. And she has like this, oh, like messed up. Like I, I can't even explain it. So like one minute she's like this awful bully and picking on her. And then all of a sudden it'll be Joe and Portia that's just together and they don't have any influences from any of the other girls and Portia is all of a sudden like a really nice person and that gave me so much anxiety <laughs> because you know you've met those people where it's like okay there's clearly like some other influences that are like influencing their behavior but then when it's just them on their own you can you almost feel like you can see their true selves and you 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 just gravitate to that side of them and so joe obviously throughout the series uh, develops strong feelings for portia and even though she bullies and abuses her a lot of the time she still gravitates to Portia and even admits to her in the present day timeline that, you know, she would have done anything for her because she was, she had such strong feelings for her. You knew, right, how I felt about you at Silver Creek, what I would have done for you. Now, like I mentioned, we do jump back and forth between timelines a lot. So that was the past. In the present timeline, we follow adult Joe again, and she's an aspiring writer. She is writing about her time at the school and she has a short story published in a journal outside of writing she is doing cleaning and maintenance for a big auditorium i think and then portia enters her life again this is where you've been hiding and it's just it kind of throws you right back in the past because like portia she plays mind games on you you know she's just ah. Oh. It's intense. And so when Portia comes back into Joe's life, she's a, a little less, um, what do I say? Maybe like a little less influenced by bad behavior. And she seems a little bit more open to an actual relationship. Can we be friends? And that's the thing people do, right? But she obviously still has those sort of like, uh, I don't know, those, those walls and those tendencies that she falls back on. Anyway, Joe is thoroughly thrown by Portia re-entering her life because before this, sort of like during this, she also develops this relationship with one of her roommates, Saskia. I feel so sorry for Saskia because like, oh my God, like Joe obviously got bullied. I get it, right? But Joe is also not a great person. <laughs> and I hate it when girls want things from me. 
and Joe treats Saskia like absolute crap. Good listener. Maybe I don't want to talk. Saskia is like really into Joe. Though they do have a girlfriend at the time when Joe and Saskia start their relationship or they're fleeing, but quickly breaks it off with their girlfriend in hopes of developing something more with Joe. I just wanted you to know that I broke up with Gabby. What do you want me to do with that, Saskia? Uh... Obviously, Joe is a bit torn. She kind of has like this almost like hate, revenge, almost kind of attitude when hooking up with Saskia. Like you can kind of tell that she's not there with Saskia. She's thinking about Portia. And so she hooks up with Saskia in these really toxic mindsets. And obviously that does not lead to anything healthy. <laughs> and yeah, so Saskia really gets um, played around in this series and gets their their feelings hurt to no end to the point that throughout the series they they keep trying to reach out and then they keep trying to pull back because they're like okay clearly i've misread the situation and then joe reaches out again and pulls them back in well that's a shame what is that you don't want to go out with me because i was just about to ask oh god anyway ends up this season moving out you don't have to leave actually i do look honestly good for them they need to look after themselves and their health and their well-being because that situation is a bad situation we end like the series in a really confusing way to be honest like joe and portia end up hooking up and end up sort of confessing a lot of their feelings to each other by the end of the the season still remember the first time i saw you it's almost like i knew you what that we'd be here one day and they are almost in like a really comfortable position with each other and really close position but then joe is talking about like her book and how she wants to go back to the school um, one last time to get inspiration and it kind of feels like portia is like oh am i only here for like inspiration and for something for you to write about and then we get this really unusual scene where Portia ends up reading some of what Joe's written about her time and it kind of throws back to they're in their present timeline but they're their past selves. It's such a trippy scene and at the end of that scene Portia says something like That's how you remember it. That's who I made you. And it kind of just threw me because I was like oh god is this whole series like just a twisted, twisted version of what actually happened. Was Portia actually that that crazy bully? Or is this just like how we're seeing it from Joe's eyes? I don't know, it really tripped me out. Anyway, after that scene, Portia kind of just like ghosts Joe and Joe ends up alone again. <laughs> she pushes everyone away. I just, it, it really tripped me out the ending of this series. She does end up finishing her story I believe and it ends with Joe seeing Portia across the street but she doesn't reach out to her she just lets her walk away I don't know this series was just really really trippy and I just I still don't know if I liked it or not <laughs> I feel like Joe and Portia obviously had great chemistry but at the same time I just felt my tummy just was in knots and I hated the feeling of watching this show because it really did send me back to my high school self and I just hated it. <laughs> like I just remember those kind of feelings and experiences in high school. It's just not a fun time. But yeah, it's um it's definitely an interesting watch. But yeah, that's my my recap of Bad Behavior and Joe and Portia and they're absolutely toxic relationship uh if you're interested in it in some more australian tv i recently did a video on liz and jerry so you can check that out here otherwise i'll see you all in my next video okay bye